Just enough time to say CNN Newsroom continues right now with Don Lemon in for Ali Velshi. All right, thank you very much, sir. Here's what I've got on the rundown, Mr. Tony Harris. 52 days into this Gulf oil disaster, is the real story being allowed to be told? There are disturbing reports out today that the media is not being given access to the worst of it. We're going to investigate it for you this hour. And a big Hollywood star and his company, they come to the rescue offering a solution to this oil disaster. What will they have to say? And BP has brought into their plan. We'll talk to them live this hour. Hey, let's talk now about some possible solutions to this Gulf oil catastrophe. Joining me now is the CEO and CEO of Ocean Therapy Solutions, a developer of centrifuges that separate oil from water. Uh, thank you guys uh, for joining us. It's uh, John Hotaling and also Patrick Smith. You guys are work together uh, with the Hollywood star Kevin Costner on this. Tell me, Mr. Hotaling, how did you get you and Mr. Costner get in touch uh, to do this project? And then I'm going to ask you about what it does. Well, Kevin's been involved with this for a long time. You know, Kevin started this process about 15 years ago. Uh, and, you know, he developed this technology, put about $24 million of his own money into it. Uh, and uh, he, he brought it to the industry, he brought it to the industry 10 years ago uh, with this technology that works. It's technology that's not adapted. It's, it's technology that uh, was actually designed for a major oil spill. Yeah, like and I, I see Patrick Smith that wants to get in on this. Tell me about how this actually works, this centrifuge. You have fashioned it so that it can uh, supposedly suck uh, oil out of water, salt water? That's correct. Okay. And, yeah, and so... And, okay. Go ahead, Mr. Smith. It's, it's so efficient, it's amazing. The, the technology's been around. It was, de it was uh, developed by the Department of Energy um, 15 years ago. And it is so efficient that it can do, it can pull 99.9% .9 of the oil out of water. Mm -hmm. So we're putting, we're putting water back into the ocean uh, effectively uh, very clean. So far, they have bought, BP has signed on to this, and I think they bought 32. I think you suggested, uh, Ms., Mr. Hoteling, that they buy 50 of them, but they bought 32. Do you know if they're in action or when they're going to get to them and when they might be using them? Well, we currently have 10 on the ground now that they're, be, they're being uh, deployed on vessels uh, as we speak. Uh, we have ramped the factory up, and the factory has been dormant uh, for, for about a decade because there hasn't been an interest in it uh, up until now. Uh, but we've ramped the factory up. Uh, we're also in discussions with, uh, uh, with, one, with Edison Swest, which is the, the largest offshore supply company in the Gulf. They're going to help us deploy these machines out as soon as we can. We're going to ramp up as, uh, as quickly as we can. Okay, Mr. Smith, and what I was trying to get from you, if I was, let's just say, a 10th grader, because uh, sometimes I think like that, explain to me how this process works, because people are at home going, what is a centrifuge? How does it suck oil out of the ocean? How can it do that? And so explain to me how that would happen. Well, basically what happens is right now the, the old uh, pitchfork and shovel are kind of being used with booms and skimmers and, and um, uh, those types of technology. Um, the oil is actually being pushed and put into barges, and um, inside inside the barge, one of the uh, arms of the centrifuge goes in, just ba basically like, like a straw, like a big suction tube, and it'll bring out a combination of water and oil. The oil will go back into the barge clean, and the water can actually be deployed overboard back into the ocean, so we don't have a huge um, shipload of, of mixture of oil and water. So it, it actually... Um, uh, brings the oil to a point where it's, it could be commercially reusable and um, doesn't, doesn't need to load up the cargo mm -hmm. uh, going back to shore, half oil, half water, or 90% water, 10% uh, oil. And when so, you, 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 you are a big real estate guy, you're a big attorney, Mr. Hotaling, but you know, Kevin Costner's a big Hollywood star and cares about this. I want you to listen to him. While you're out talking about this, he's testifying in, in front of Congress. Take a listen. My enthusiasm for what the machine could do was met with apathy, a refusal to move off the status quo. The list of government agencies, oil companies, and foreign companies we contacted reads like a who's who of those who needed it, those who should have been looking for it, and probably more to the point, those who should have been developing it themselves. I was told that it was too expensive, that it, there was no need that the spills were becoming less frequent, at least the ones we could see. So he is passionate about this, and we're being told that this, this, these machines can collect about 210,000 uh, gallons of oil a day from the ocean, and if it had been used after Exxon Valdez, it could have been cleaned up a whole lot faster. 
That's correct. Actually, um, Kevin made the statement that had he been on, on site with um, 20 of these V-20 machines, he probably could have cleaned up Valdez in a week. Great. Mr. Hoteling and Mr. Smith, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be watching you. your progress because we have crews, as you know, stationed down, down in the Gulf and CNN has been on top of this. We want to get to the bottom of this. Of course, everyone wants the oil to stop and we hope your project helps and it Thank works. you. It's important for our state. All Appreciate right, thank it. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You, so listen, we're, you know, bringing you five ideas a day to help the Gulf. So make sure you stay tuned to CNN. Five ideas a day to help the Gulf of Mexico.